the little baby over there. Back in the boat, I'm on the river. It's quiet a little bit right now. I'm gonna have to get a canoe, clearly. My kayak is like not made for a great big dry bag, a backpack, and uh, miscellaneous other stuff. I had to pare down my kit because uh, I did not have enough room and uh, I was really kind of gun shy about uh, whether or not I was going to stay upright once I got on the water. Did a quick test of the boat ramp and uh, as you can see we're on the water so. There's a beaver in front of me. I'm zoomed in as far as I can go. He's like right. Where's my finger? There he is. He's like right there. He's swimming in front of me. Love birds in the sunset. Oh, they're gone. There's sunset. There's a crane. I landed and I am trying to set up a place to stay. I think I'm gonna stay here. It's not that far from the shoreline, so but it's concealed by this tall grass. So I'm gonna scout around some more real quick here and then I am going to uh figure out where I'm going to set up because I'm losing daylight quickly. So, all right, more later. Well, I have found a spot. Unfortunately, it wasn't exactly what I had hoped. Uh, all right, I'm in the woods. Darkness has fallen. I'm trying to find a place where I'm going to cook. So I'm thinking it's going to be over here. can't see it but it's a beef noodle uh, chow mein so I figured it would be a first easy cook out here so but this guy here says sauce packet removed set that guy down there Perfect camping gear. You can't see it, can you? I need, a, I need another light over here on me. It's Modelo. Limon Approximately the fill line. That looks good. Looks like it's got just enough. 
I think I'm supposed to put this in there too. I don't know if you can hear that. There's some little bird in a tree nearby. It's steadily making noise. I don't know. That was, that was unexpected. Let's get up in here. I wasn't really expecting this. I didn't know that that was that color. I guess that's the beef sauce. So, but I'm gonna let that to go. This thing worked really good. It boiled up in this billy pot like super quick. So, I'm just gonna cover this back up here. Let those noodles soften down there. And uh, see, Modelo. Had it in this little cooler so it's nice and cold. Alright, I don't know if you can hear that bird. But, alright, let me wait for this thing to season up. Alright, so, getting ready to, to eat here. I'm just giving this a few more minutes to kind of soften up. Nobody knows, you know, that I'm stealth camping. I guess that's part of the whole stealth process is that no one knows. So this is that I I cooked beef broth instead of water. water. It says to add water. I thought if I added beef broth it would like be way tastier. The beef broth is very tasty. So and I'm not gonna let it go to waste. So I gotta I moved away from where, where I'm actually camping because where I'm camping is behind me over there. And, um, these lights, I believe, would attract attention. So I came over here where the mosquitoes are, you know, much more choice and large. And I figured, you know, it's the camping experience. But anyways, um, yeah, I found this nifty little spot on the map and, uh, I don't know if I've mentioned it before. Um, I try not to complain, but you know where I um, where I live, I don't have a lot of options as far as like wild camping. Um, some of the stuff I would like to really do, I have to drive like six hours, seven hours north into Michigan or into northern Wisconsin in order to do any of it. Um, so finding some place that is like ten minutes from home ish, you know, is really a a treasure to find um, and this place here I don't know for sure but based on its location and based on the difficulty that I had getting here in a kayak um, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this is probably gonna be a a nice place um, it uh, got right to dark 30 as I got here I had some challenges coming in that I didn't expect and uh, you know it is what it is so It's uh, kind of an island that's on the uh, river chain that, um, like I said, I mean, at least in the summertime, there's not really a whole, it's not an easy place to get to. So, um, I, if I'm forced to guess, and obviously I am, the only time that anyone comes out here is probably going to be, I would say, hunting, uh, around hunting season. Um, and, uh, and or like in the dead of winter i mean it's gonna only be accessible when everything's frozen um and you can get out here in like a snowmobile um at this point in time coming out here by boat where i went there's no boat that anyone has unless it's um you know one of them big air boats with the propeller on the back of it that skims right over the top of the water there's no boat that's going to get here um my kayak had trouble getting here especially with the gear that i had so anybody with a boat you know is gonna not be able to get here so uh, i'm not really overly concerned with being discovered so you know i know the whole idea of stealth camping is camping someplace where there's the chance that you're going to get discovered i really don't think that i'm going to get discovered i think i've discovered something um if i'm being honest but 
uh, I'm proceeding with caution and I did get here a little bit late and uh, I am um, you know I'm gonna explore more in the daylight tomorrow so but the chow mein is ready so ooh, yeah let's see let's give you a look at this I mean you know standard noodles so you know nothing super super amazing but um, you know I think it's gonna be good all right let's give this a whirl I'm sitting on the ground man my leg one of my legs is like half asleep. It's all pins and needles. Well, that has a decidedly Chinese food flavor to it. Despite being kind of like soup. I got the light lit behind me, like on the ground, so that way I can find my way back to my hammock and my sleeping apparatus. people they were like playing hip-hop music there was a bunch of people on the way in here fishing parked with a bunch of with some some young guys out there with their girlfriends like fishing on the way in fishing check these noodles out mm. I try really hard to, um, you know, eat keto because um, carbs, I'm not my friend. Problem is, I love chips and guacamole and tacos and chimichangas. I love chimichangas, they're so good. And the mosquitoes love me, they really do. They're having a damn field day. This area right in here is kind of cleared out <clears throat> naturally. Either that or the deer browsed it out, one of the two. There was a deer, maybe a raccoon trail, I don't know. Raccoons came out here in the winter time. And got stranded. I think it's possible. Well, gang. That was that. So, I'm going to turn this thing off and go over to the whole, you know, the other thing, the other camping thing. That I kind of anticipated since this island is technically in the middle of a swamp. I did anticipate that there would be bugs and probably in abundance since they live all around here. It's like their house, not mine. And um, I was not in any way, shape, or form wrong. So, But I'm going to move this over, so I will see you in a second through YouTube magic. Should be fun. 
plenty of wildlife on the uh, main island. But I'm gonna get my boots on. I want some coffee. According to the weatherman, I got until about noon time, I think. Until it's supposed to get cloudy and start raining, so. So we're gonna get on our hats. That's one of the first things I want to do. What I want to do is, is I heard a lot of commotion, or what sounded like commotion. Probably just imagination on my part. Over by my boat. So I'm gonna go back over to where the boat is and make sure that the boat is still there because I don't really need a Gilligan's Island situation. I got uh, people that depend on me. So there's that. So let's uh, let's walk. Chasing away all the ducks. I think they're all like right here. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Yeah, babies. It's all the babies. They're all freaking out. But and all the carp freaking out as well so but make myself presentable for YouTube alright guys well the boat is still there as I suspected it uh, was just guys up and down the river fishing at night at night because there's a lot of invasive carp uh, they like to bow fish at night sometimes. Uh, before I started doing all this, I was, uh, I guess I was stealth camping and didn't realize it on the river chain before. Um, it was like two birthdays ago. Um, and uh, I was, uh, again, at dark 30 looking for a place to, uh, to sleep. And... Um, pulled up on the side of the riverbank and there was a tree that was overhanging uh, that had been blown over or whatever so it was just kind of like laying over there and I tested it it was sturdy and I hung my uh, hammock onto it and um, stayed there for the night and in the middle of the night I actually had some uh, bow fishermen come by and uh, spotlight me with the spotlight and kind of were like surprised to see a person hanging in the uh, hanging in the tree with a kayak below him so but enough chatter it's time for coffee mm -hmm. all right well I'm back over where I cooked last night but I'm thinking now that I can see The one thing I didn't like about last night is that uh, I had to sit on the ground. And, um, yeah, I'm not going to be shy about saying it. Uh, I'm getting too old to sit on the ground. I was cursing myself for not bringing that backpackable chair, but, you know. Uh, I'm investing in a bigger boat.
right, gang. Depending on how this works out, <clears throat> this may or may not stay in the video. <laughs> Dead stuff out of the way here. Make some headroom. All right, and ah, voila, instant seat. Oh, all right. Well, I can hear the fishermen out there with water is just about to boil. Got my cup. Should probably go grab my spoon so that way I am able to ladle out the proper amount of coffee stuff. But um, I got this little packet, this is my coffee kit, and it's just uh, at the dollar store. It's got little lockable lids, so I'm reasonably assuming that it's it's airtight, it's watertight. So, um, but I got my little thing of instant coffee in here and I got some, some sweeteners that makes it possible for me to um, have coffee when I don't have my teapot with me so um yeah and that's that so all right well the coffee or the water is boiled Getting in here um, without getting seen wasn't difficult. There were people fishing out on the on the river chain, so um, I had my fishing pole with me for cover. So I just made like I was fishing and kept it handy if anybody uh, if anybody showed up on the uh, on the river while I was getting the kayak hidden. And I could, you know, if they saw me, I could just, like, grab the fishing pole and make, like, I, you know, landed to fish from the land for a moment or whatever. So, but. All right, so instant coffee. And I have a hazelnut creamer, so. Get this guy going. Let's see here. A trusty pocket knife, which I never leave home without. Put this down here. Save the trash. Never leave your trash wherever you go. What do they say? Pack it in, pack it out. So. It's up here because I'm going to be using that in a minute. Oh. Oh, well, it smells good. Anyways, the mosquitoes seem to agree. Well, well I have a day of adventure ahead of me, at least a half a day. And then, uh, I have to get out of here and get everything, um, packed up and whatnot to, um, be able to get back to the Jeep. So, that'll be fun. But this morning, um, after I engage in this, I plan on going and, uh, like exploring this uh, island. I'm on like the front tip, the back 40 where you heard the coyotes howling this morning. I'm hoping that the camera picked that up. My sound issues on my camera suck, so the other part of the island back behind where you're looking at me is, uh, is even more inaccessible than this part. So. When I was coming in last night, um, I was looking around and I thought I saw some shotgun shells on the ground. Um, I'm going to continue to keep my eyes peeled for any type of 
uh, surveillance equipment in the event that somebody's got trail cams up because they do hunt out here on a regular basis. Um, my camp is set up on the uh, west side of uh, uh, a game trail. So there's game out here. There's coyotes out here. I heard them. There's birds galore. Um, it wasn't like up north where I was hearing owls all night, but I was hearing some kind of a bird out here last night. And simple um, breakfast this morning, um, corned beef. So I'm just going to open this sucker up. Wow, that's all it's holding that on there? It's because they had to lose the key. I'd be like, well, I'm not really going to be having corned beef this morning because I washed the key and I can't open the corned beef. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, I can hear the fishermen out there in their boats racing around. I heard someone coming up the river before and saying how awesome of a day it was. So. I concur. And the bam is open. This is the first time I've uh, actually had this, so so we'll see how it is. Surrounded by birds, it's kind of cool. I can hear all their little wings flapping above me. Uh oh. Well, I won't get that one. Hmm. I suppose it was probably meant to be heated. I ran out of gas. I have no way to heat it. And it's technically me. I've seen him do this in zombie movies, so it's gotta be okay. It was on TV. Mosquitoes are absolutely wretched. So. I'll cut back in when uh, I'm getting ready to uh, when I'm getting ready to adventure but uh, so uh, I need to use my other phone my active phone as a navigation device so that that way I can find my way back here to this stuff because this is the jungle baby okay all right well let's get started Okay, first shot from the island. Now, I don't know if you can see it or not, but this is like an open area. But this is uh, a rarity. Look around me. All of that stuff there behind me, that's completely surrounded me. That's all like, I'm going to say it's wild roses, but it's just like a field of them. All right, so I came across my first trail camera. I'm looking currently to see if there's another one because this looks like a similar setup to the one that I just found as far as like area wise. Check it out. So you can see this clearing here, which is what I was looking for because on Google Maps, I could see it through the holes in the canopy. But back over this way, I just came from there. There is one on a tree. When I go back by, I'll try and get a picture of it. But I am thinking that probably, because the trail was pretty well managed through this area right through here. So I'm thinking that this is probably an area that this person has set up for hunting. And I'm expecting to see another camera over here somewhere as I don't see one. 
right this moment. But that doesn't mean that I just haven't seen it. So I'm gonna keep looking because the trails over on this side seem to be pretty managed. And that's usually a hunter's trick to make cutting through this thorny stuff easier on the deer and the deer go, yeah, I'm gonna go through there rather than get stuck with this stuff. And then it becomes like this managed trail. So based on where I'm at, I don't know if he came through where I came through to get here or if he came through this side over here. I'm gonna guess this side over here because that side there's like a little cut in alongside the island that's hidden and I'm willing to bet that I went out there before I didn't see anything but I'm willing to bet if I went out there I'd find some kind of a better trail to get in here. I followed the game trail along the edge of the water and it brought me to this little field inland which I saw on the Google Maps so um, I'm gonna continue to investigate I still haven't seen any other trail cams. That doesn't mean there aren't any, that just means I haven't seen them. So they've either been hidden really good, which that other one really wasn't hidden, so I don't know. But according to my, uh, my GPS tracking system that I have activated, I am just outside the boundaries of the state park. So this is probably like no man's land over here. Um, and that's why there's hunters over here. Um, but if you get a deer in here, you have to be able to get it out. So there's a way to get it out of here. So that means there's a way to get in here. And um, I'm going to keep looking. It's about 7.30 now. So I'm going to keep looking. And uh, I just heard a deer over there snorting. I don't know if you can hear that. That's a deer snorting. That's number two. And how to avoid him. Well, gang, I scouted the island. And uh, it would appear somebody else shares my feelings. I get it. You know what I mean? How would I feel if somebody came out and messed up in my area? You know, maybe this isn't as good an area as I thought it was going to be, but, um, you know, you win some, you lose some.